If you're a freelancer, contractor, or side hustler, juggling business and personal expenses can get real messy real fast. You've got clients to manage, invoices to send, reports to run, and in the middle of that, you have to have time to eat lunch. You don't need five different apps to keep it all straight. With the Quicken Business and Personal app, you can actually manage and view both business and personal accounts all within one app. Let me show you the features every service-based business owner needs to know. Hey guys, welcome to the Quicken channel. I'm your host, Justine. I am obsessed with how Quicken was able to combine both your personal finances and your business stuff all within one app so that you don't have to toggle between different apps. You can actually see everything in one spot. So if you're a side hustler, if you're a contractor, maybe you do some freelancing on the side and you want to make sure that you are accounting for those business expenses and also figuring out where your personal expenses are. This is the app that you'll want to use. First, you get business and personal finances in one app with two different views where you can actually see what accounts you're working with. You're working with your business account and you're working with your personal account so that you can see everything in one spot. The next feature you'll want to pay attention to are the automatic transaction downloads and categorization for both business and personal. So from the dashboard, what you're going to do is hit transactions, and then you can toggle for all your business transactions. You can scroll through and see how each of these have been categorized. If something's not categorized correctly, then you can click into the box, and then you can click business, scroll to business, and then look at all of these subcategories of business expenses that you can categorize from. If there's something that doesn't belong or you need to create a new category, all you need to do is head over, you can actually do this multiple ways, but you can head over to settings, click categories and tags, and then you can click add new category. If you go back to transactions and then you click on personal, now you can see all personal expenses categorized in one spot. The third feature is that you can create and manage invoices inside of the app. So no more going into a separate platform to create your invoices and then manage that invoice someplace else. You can create all of your client invoices within Quicken and then you can actually enable to receive digital payments right there in the app. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, from the menu, you're going to click on invoices and I'm clearly doing this from the desktop version. So you're gonna click on invoices and then you can create invoice here. You can create your new client and then add an item. So I've already added some here for you to take a look at and then you can add in your rates and then what you'll want to do, if you want to accept online payments, you'll click here to add Stripe. So if you have a Stripe account, you're going to be able to accept payments through Quicken and via Stripe by connecting those accounts here together. Then you can just go ahead and send that invoice directly to your client. You can save it. And then here, you're gonna be able to take a look at some of those draft invoices and make sure that you're keeping track of all of your payments and your invoices in one spot. Another great feature of the Quicken Business and Personal app is that you can get reports specific to your business. Things like cash flow, profit loss, uh, the balance sheet, accounts receivable. These are things that you can actually save and then send over to the right people, your accountant, <laughs> and make sure that you are ready to go when it comes time for tax season. And speaking of tax season, tax tools, we got you covered inside of this app. So you can actually attach receipts, tag expenses by tax category, and generate a ready to go schedule report. Another really handy feature is that you can manage multiple businesses inside of the app. So if you're a side hustler who has multiple side hustles like most of us, then you'll wanna learn how to manage all of those businesses. And it's easy to do inside the app. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to settings in the main menu. You're going to click businesses and then you're going to click add business. Here's where you can add all of those businesses and Quicken lets you track up to 10 businesses in one place without mixing the finances. And you'll definitely wanna pay attention to the personal finance side of things because you'll be able to easily track your personal spending and your personal savings goals inside of the same app. So here's what you do. You toggle over to spending plan and here's where exactly you can create a structured planned spend for every single month so you know exactly where you've gone overboard, where you've underspent, and how you can move money around that reflects your lifestyle and your financial goals. Quicken Business and Personal gives freelancers, side hustlers, contractors the freedom to cover everything from rent to revenue. So you'll wanna make sure that you are accessing this app as part of your lifestyle and as part of your business. Let me know if there's a certain feature that you would like even more training on by commenting below and tell me what you want to figure out inside of this app. Don't forget, you can use the link below to sign up for Quicken Business and Personal, and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. We'll catch you in the next one.